Hey guys, welcome back to my video and today's video is about how to convert the design from Figma to the Android application with the Android Studio. So basically this is Figma. I have been designing for this single pages for the featured movie. So I really like Dr. Strange so I put the Dr. Strange image here. And I was thinking that how can we make the opacity of the background so i was looking for the opacity and i got this one so basically you just need to put 7f and this is the hex code of the color okay so let's do this so first of all we have to import sorry we have to export the assets that we need actually i need the background and then we can we can export okay select the group and then export and this is actually for the uh, Android so I think I will choose the biggest one because later on the Android will convert to the uh, small size so I will take for X okay and then I need this picture of course so export with the 4x oh this one okay but I have to change this layer name so it have to be picture movie okay so we're going to export and for this background we can make it manually with drawable so that's why I have been looking for this for the button yeah we can do that manually with the android uh, drawable and i think for those stars we can export as a uh, 4x okay cool let's see where it goes to download okay star uh, red movie and then we need big app okay so I got three assets that we can use for this mobile user interface and I will provide the download link in this video description so take a look and download okay let's go start with the Android Studio here this is for the movie strength okay next and with the empty activity and this is main activity and finish Okay, so after you finish it for the greater bit, we have to import our assets to the Android Studio. So in the drawable, we put, okay, all right, nice. So in this case that we don't use any JFL language, so we can cross it. And I think I'm going to use the constraint layout to make it more easier. But where is the preview? Oh, there you go. <laughs> now we're going to the values and select styles. We now active the action bar. Okay. So then after that, I want to change the color. But first of all, we're going here to add the background from drawable background app. Okay. And I think we don't need hello world here and change the color of the status bar so you're going to this one and probably 4a 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 yeah I think it's matching since it's black okay so let's review the design first so in the first at the top of the mobile apps we got uh, title so the title property is uh, 18 so why did I remove the title ah okay no problem so we put the text one to become featured movie and text size and text color FFF FFF 
and textile is both okay and then I want to change it first to become accessories okay and we have to put this at the middle but I guess that the font size is too small so I will change it to the 22 SP okay we put on the middle here and you can click here to generate the constraint since we are using the constraint layout okay and I think that the margin top is about 40 okay so it's featured movie I think we can uh, we can preview in the emulator first okay so far what we did is like this congratulations nice now we'll continue but before that we're going to the drawable to create the custom background this is background content custom okay and we're going to the text and change the selector to become set this is the background for the content that I will show you okay as you can see the black one this is for the content and we have to create by our drawable it's pretty easy just use the solid color and 7 okay let's go back again 7f okay 7f 1 2 3 1 2 3 so it will become transparent and don't forget to setting the radius of corners okay cool now we're going to create the layout here which is linear layout and this is match parent button don't forget to setting the orientation to become uh, vertical and background also okay if we put here maybe 400 dp it will become like this well I guess I have to setting the margin left 32 dp and margin right 32 dp okay and then we can put here give the margin top so let's see the margin top is about 123 wow <laughs> so here okay Oh, I think it's too far away. Setting 80 dp. Mm, no, 100. Okay. And I think we can setting the margin left to 32 dp and margin right 32 dp. Okay, that's cool. Now we have to adding the picture of the movie uh, above of the linear layout. So here we use the image view. So first of all, we have to know the dimension of the picture. So it's about two hundred forty by multiplication uh three hundred. So here, and this is the hey three hundred, and we have to put the source, which is uh drawable. Where is the movie? Okay, I think why I could not to upload this. Uh, yeah, do you know why? Mm, I think we have to do in this design and then here no 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 background no no it's not but why I can't to upload this picture of movie okay guys so the problem was about 
the name so i have changed to the uh, refactor you can refactor and you can refactor and rename with the emg underscore app so it will appear so here like this yeah i didn't know i'm not really sure what's wrong but now it's good and we have to setting the margin top to 32 dp yeah cool and don't forget to uh, select the images view and we put like this okay uh before we continue i think we have to preview to the emulator to see what happens okay yeah it's very very cool congratulations <laughs> yeah so we just need to working on the title and the category of the movie and the stars okay so let's do that instead of linear layout we provide the text view okay and the text is about oh sorry we're going to back to check figma or doctor strange okay and let's see the font size 22 and white and i guess it have to be 32 and color is okay and then we put the graffiti and this is match pattern okay just setting the margin top um, 200 dp no 230 240 okay amazing so this is the another value if you are designer while you are developing your own application you can understand the coordinate clearly but if you are developer then you don't know about the basic basic design it would be hard for you so this is great value for designer who able to doing development <laughs> okay let's continue so we got dr strength here and i'm going to copy okay and have to be action and about speed and let's see the font color of this 777 <laughs> okay and where is this oh i guess that have to be but i could not see this text mm. oh there you go oh have to be seven now oh sorry guys I think the margin top is only 20 SP. Oh no, maybe 8 SP. Yeah, cool. So below of the category of the movie, we put the image view for stars. Okay. So it's about stars red wow but we have to resize the dimension oh about uh 15 and this is 100 i think we can increase and this is oh have to be dp dimension okay then we put on the middle but i think from here uh, graffiti okay 
and for here I guess have to be no okay that's enough okay the last one is button but before that we have to create our button with drawable let's do this guys background yellow btn means button and we're going to the text and change the selector to become set have to be solid and i don't know yet the hex code so let's go check it okay this is the hex code and we have to setting the corners okay cool now we're going to create the button but i think outside of the linear so size about 250 and 45 thing yeah so background drawable okay. then we can put la we can put here boom okay. cool. and we need text or label this is for the oh buy ticket and text size about 22 sp or maybe 24 and text color okay and textile bolt okay well done we can try to preview into the emulator Tada! This is our design. Looks awesome, guys. So, thank you very much, and I hope it was useful for you. Don't forget to download those assets that I have provided in the video description, and giving like, share, and comment, and make my YouTube channel become big. <laughs> well, yeah, thank you very much, guys. So, nice to meet you from Indonesia. See you.